Y'all, you know how to say, I'm going to say it in front of God and everybody. I want to make sure that everyone understands that Denise Daniels, I love that woman. An apology to his wife, one of two topics that Clay County Sheriff Darrell Daniels discussed tonight. The other was the topic at hand, the budget, at a public meeting in Middleburg, where the sheriff discussed what his office needs to do its best job safely. On your side, Jeff Vallon was at the meeting where Sheriff Daniels addressed his infidelity scandal and an ongoing criminal investigation by the FDLE. Jeff joins us live in the newsroom with more. Good evening, Anthony. It's been almost two months since FDLE announced the investigation that came on the heels of revelation that Sheriff Daniels had had an extramarital affair starting about six years ago while working at the Duval County Jail. But tonight's scheduled topic was budget. A request to the county commission that he's whittled from $10.2 million to $4.9 when he says he needs to fund updated technologies, new hires, and to remain compensation competitive in a world where he says employees often leave for bigger money elsewhere. As for his personal issues gone public, the sheriff addressed those proactively, part of which you already heard. And when one citizen asked him whether those issues are causing any attrition in his office, he flatly said no. I think the sheriff's office is just, a, a, just as effective as, as it has always been. Um, I think morale is pretty decent in the sheriff's office, no different than any other sheriff's office. Now, I never want to mince words. Sheriff Daniels said he's trying to tone down some of his rhetoric, but he emphasized that he has a job to do. To his citizens, he said, we will keep you safe. And in keeping with some of his trademark bravado, warned criminals, we will hand you your rear end on any budget. He says he's about 80% confident he'll get the 4.9 million he's currently requesting. He'll likely get his answer in late September, just days before the new budget takes effect October 1st. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Vallon, First Coast News on your side.